North Dakota Game and Fish manages more than 200 wildlife management areas statewide, encompassing about 220,000 acres of land open for public hunting. However, there are rules and regulations for leaving equipment on WMAs. The date that tree stands and, and ground blinds, trail cameras also can be put on the wildlife management area is August 20th and that all needs to be taken out by January 31st. Warden Irk says all equipment left on wildlife management areas must include identification of the owner. Person's name and address, phone number, or now the department will issue a unique equipment identification number. If you just log into the website and go to your own account, you can ask for an equipment identification number. And I think most of them are a five digit number that'll be assigned to you. You write that on any of your tree stands, ground blinds, trail cameras, those types of things. And then nobody else will know who that number belongs to. Warden Irk says a lot of hunters are leaving equipment on wildlife management areas without identification. So if we find equipment without identification on it, we'll put an orange warning tag on it, and that explains to them what they need to get it into compliance, and if it's not brought into compliance, it could be seized. And a lot of equipment is simply abandoned. More than 100 tree stands and ground blinds were removed last year alone and turned over to the Report All Poachers program for auction. A lot of times the tree stands and ground blinds get left behind. Trail cameras, not so much, because they're worth a little more money, guys are a little less reluctant to leave them behind, but see a lot of equipment that's left without identification and, and we, we do remove a, a lot of it. Warden Irk says it takes a lot of time to monitor and remove tree stands that are left after the January 31st deadline. A good reminder is if you take a piece of equipment onto the wildlife management area, it's your responsibility to also take it out. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.